Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Dom and thanks for tuning in to another episode in this series. Past few episodes we've gone ahead and created empty states, created a swipe to dismiss here on our items, and we've actually in the latest episode went ahead and uh, allowed the user to change the priority level of the particular item in the list just simply by tapping on it. So this um, is a good reason to commit uh, implemented priority bumping. Sounds sounds I don't know sounds a little funky for whatever reason, but hey. Um, so I think this now makes sense to kind of add a little bit of sorting into this, right? I think the default sort should be uh, based on priority and. Uh, maybe we can actually even add in a header to kind of differentiate between the different uh, priority levels and stuff like that. So uh, in order to do that, let's take a look at our controller. We don't need the repository, we don't need that, we don't need that. Let's go ahead and look at our controller here. So right now when we set our entity list, we, um, we set it, we say we're not loading and then we request a model build and then in here we go ahead and take a look at uh, or loop through that each element in that list and just add them to the um, to the screen here. So you know basically the only thing that the well the the current sorting is uh, whichever was added to the database first, right? So that's why everything appears at the bottom as we continue to add it. So instead, let's go ahead and uh, just implement the priority sorting instead. So. We can actually do this all in line still. Um, we can on the list call sorted by descending, right? Because we want the highest priority at the top. Hit that priority. Go ahead and kind of like cascade this if we want to. Uh, but the idea here is I believe was sorted by descending. We can just check it out real quick as long as these have different. So hey with the red was at second in the list and now it should be first in the list and it is exactly. Um, and then if we go ahead and actually change this you can see that they uh, swap as well and then they again swap and then uh, I wonder why is it that they're swapping based on priority? when they're the same. I guess then the default is, right, so if they're tied on priority, the default is probably the original sort order, and so that's why, uh, yes, that's why this, yep, yeah, that makes sense, okay, right. Sorry for talking that out, but um, basically we've only said here, you know, how to sort the list, um, I guess, simply, right? Uh, well, we're not handling the collisions. It's very possible, especially in this situation here, uh, where multiple items in the list have the same priority, and so then we don't have, you know, okay, if they're the same priority, then this, and, and, then, the, and then this, and then this, and then this. Uh, so whatever, it's not the end of the world for now, but I just wanted to clarify why things were uh, going back and forth here, but uh, let's add another guy to the list here. Um, I want to play two. Get me, and then let's put him as medium so that we can kind of, you know, I don't know, see a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of different things. I mean, that's that that seems like a proper sort order, and then you can kind of just see how things float around a little bit differently. And uh, boom. So now our list should always be in order as far as, uh, you know, red should appear at the top and then we have this cascading effect down. Uh, so that's cool and that's good. Uh, at least for now, we can go ahead and eventually update, you know, like a, a many other ways to sort this list based on whatever the user would want. Maybe they want it alphabetically sorted. Maybe they want it sorted based on category whenever we get to that point. Um, I just want to make sure that in the times that we're moving all this stuff, uh, removing it as well. We're actually removing the proper one, 
Yes, it looks that way. Okay, so this app seems to be uh, coming together a little bit here. Headers. Headers is kind of something we talked about, right? So um, I think it's appropriate to kind of try to build out a header that would sit, you know, at the priority level. Um, so all of the ones for the different priorities would kind of live under the, uh, the same header, and then you could have multiple headers if you had different, in this case, we have two different items and two different priority groups, if you could imagine it that way. Uh, so it would be nice to maybe have a different header view in there so that you were able to kind of um, quickly see, you know, like what this meant and and uh, and whatnot. So first things first, we're going to actually have to uh, create a new layout file for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. ahead and created a simple uh, layout here that just has basically a text view in it with a new background color we just added something in here the header background um, just e4 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 it's kind of this like grayishy color we put the black uh, color on there as well as the text color we set it to be bold certain text size give it a little bit of padding etc we'll see how it looks not entirely sure how it's gonna look because these are like card views and they don't expand to the entire width of the screen so we might need to kind of clean that up but uh, but hey we'll, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there and then a very simple epoxy model uh, class here that just takes one parameter during construction which is the header text and we actually just bind that text in there let's go ahead and figure out how to implement a or how to add headers into this so the first thing that we want to do because we're sorting them by priority and of course this is going to change once we start adding different sort methods but because we're sorting by priority let's go ahead and say the current priority um, is an integer and for each item so we're going to say uh, let's, put the, let's set this to negative one right and so we're going to say if the item dot uh, priority does not equal the current priority first of all we're going to set the current priority to be the item dot priority and then we're going to go ahead and add our header model right header epoxy model we're going to say all right we're going to have to create a function get header text for the priority Passing in the current priority, add to this, but also we're going to need I'm just going to go ahead and create uh, this as a variable so that I can reuse it as the ID as well. Perfect. So we just need to create this helper function here, which we're going to go ahead and do right here. Private function uh, priority is of type int. We're going to return a string. So we're going to say when, well, actually we're going to say return when priority priority. Spell that right. When priority is one, we're going to say low. When priority is two, we will say medium with a capital M. And then, uh, sure, let's just say else because again, we need to be exhaustive here. We're going to say high, right? 
should be pretty straightforward here. Hopefully this logic makes sense. We're just going to initialize our priority to something that we know is not valid so that the first time we iterate over um, this list with the first element, this is going to be true. So in this case here, since we're sorting by descending, we're going to have you know something of size three or the priority that says three for the highest. So it'll say does negative one equal three? No, it doesn't. Uh, so then we update our priority we add our header text, uh, or we get it, and then we add our header model, and then we go ahead and add our epoxy model. And so then if we had five more elements in the list that all had priority three, we would perform this check first, and so it would say, uh, it would actually say, yes, no, these do equal, so uh, there's no need to run this code, and so you just kind of continue adding elements to the list here. Uh, and then once we get to a different priority level, this would be satisfied again, we would create a new header model, add it to the list, and then we would go ahead and add the, uh, the new model there. So as you can see, uh, all right, well, it works, but it doesn't look very good. Uh, but that's not the point. So let's go ahead and see how this reacts as well as we change priority levels. So you can actually see how beautifully dynamic this uh, entire screen is becoming and how simple uh, it is to actually build out this, uh, you know, just intuitive screen, this very, very, very nice and clean uh, interface for the user, just with a little bit of logic and the power of epoxy here. If you were trying to do this in a regular recycler review, you would likely be ripping your hair out. There would be so much more code uh, to, to, you know, dissect exactly what sections exist and then what, uh, what headers to put for them and, and maintaining all these indices and making sure nothing, you know, kind of, uh, you don't get any index out of bounds, you're not off by one errors, etc. And then also just how clean and simple it is to these little animations that it does for you. I mean, it's just, it's super, super powerful. So I'm very excited to finally be showing uh, some of this off to you as well. Uh, however, we do need to kind of clean some things up here a little bit. So let me... First of all, I want to see what this other item looks like. Yeah, see, so this one has the, you could see it right here in the UI. You could see the fact that this has the, um, yeah, this end will look good when it, right, I see. Hmm. Alright, well let's try something else. So instead of that, we'll have our item take up the entire screen. And let's say go to our epoxy, uh, epoxy recycle review. Item spacing, let's do 8 dp and let's see how that reacts. Okay, so we put in vertical spacing which looks pretty good. I'll take that, no problem. So now I guess I guess we could just update our not our header. We want to keep our header the same width. Um, but we could take that back. I'll just revert it and delete the other one. Perfect. So with a little bit of work here, uh, oh, wonderful. Yep. That looks like it should. Let's see how it looks when they are next to one another. Perfect, absolutely perfect. All right, so like I said, it, you know, it kind of looks a little funky here. Um, so let's add some stuff in. We'll go toilet paper, set that to be high. Um, avocados, set that to be medium, you know, for toast. And let's throw a low in there, like, aha. So we have our little issue here with the toilet paper. Um, but now we can see that this application here is, uh, the screen here is really starting to be able to, you know, come together. It actually just looks better <laughs> as we put more and more items in it. Uh, and, and you kind of get the feel of what you're, what we're looking for here. So if we were to kind of, you know, graduate this one from the different, uh, from the low bucket to the medium, and now I want to graduate it again to the high bucket, um, you know, etc. So there seems to be, um, I mean, that's just 
that's just wonderful. I'm very happy with how this is coming out. I'm very happy with how easy it is to interact with these particular items and kind of propagate them through the list um, and then all of the, the goodies that come along with it. So also if we split avocados high, let's put this one in medium. And if we swipe to dismiss this, not only does the item remove itself, but also the header removes itself. Uh, and now we have our, uh, our list again here. So very, very, very happy with how this is coming out. Hopefully this is making sense to you guys as well. And really, um, you know, with a little bit of logic here for sorting and uh, I don't even know what this would be called. Uh, <laughs> logic, I don't know, math, checking. Um, we can accomplish a very, very nice looking UI quite simply under the hood. Um, so very happy with how this is coming out. If you are as well, please go ahead and like comment and or subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated to see some feedback. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything else coming, coming your way. So I'll see you in the next one.